The labor force participation rate tells us which percentage of the entire working age population is economically active. In other words, it tells us which percentage of the people capable of working are actually working, or at least looking for a job. Let's assume you live in a country with 10 million working age people. We'll also assume 5 million are currently working and 500,000 are actively looking for work. So, we have 5.5 million economically active people. In this scenario, the labor force participation rate is 55%. The unemployment rate, on the other hand, tells us which percentage of the total labor force is currently unemployed but actively looking for work. To figure out how many people are jobless but actively looking for work, the authorities figure out how many people are receiving unemployment benefits and other forms of help on the one hand. And, on the other hand, they also analyze data from unemployment offices to measure how many people are making an effort to find a job. In the previously mentioned scenario, with a labor force of 10 million people and 500,000 people who are looking for a job, the unemployment rate is 5%. The unemployment rate alone can sometimes paint an overly optimistic picture. So, the labor force participation rate complements it nicely. Together, they help you accurately assess the health of an economy.